Let's take a look at SolidWorks Composer 2018. I'm going to start off in Microsoft Word where we have a document for a bearing replacement procedure. All the images that you see here, complete with detail views, labels and arrows, have been generated using SolidWorks Composer. We need a new additional view here for step 6. We'll switch to Composer and if you look down the left hand side in our views pane, all the views that have been created here have been saved out as image files and then imported into our Word document. To create a new image, we'll just access the view that we want to work from. And I want to essentially create an exploded view here. Before I do that, we'll just zoom out slightly and move the model to the top corner of the drawing sheet. Now to create an exploded view is quite similar to SolidWorks. Simply access the command, select the components, and then drag using the triad. We can speed this process up with the linear explode tool. I'll select all the components and then drag them out and it'll auto space automatically. To create the arrows, I simply go to the author tab, grab hold of the arrow tool, pick up on the axis of the hole and just drag my arrow into position like so. I need to shift the arrows back a bit and I want to change the display of the arrows. So we can do this from the properties on the left hand side. I want to make them fully opaque. I want them to disappear behind my components. And I also want to show them with a gradient so they fade out. That's looking pretty good. For the labels, I'll just use the label tool and just start clicking on my components. You'll see as I click on the components, it automatically picks up on the file name of the component, but we could get it to reference any custom property within the file itself. The labels themselves are not quite right. The leader style needs to be adjusted, so we'll just go through, select those labels, and make a change. So we can select the labels and change them via the properties. However, we have a styles tool here where we can set up a style and then conform a label or an annotation of some sort to that style such that it always displays in a particular way. I'll just conform mine to the What's New style that I created earlier. That's looking good. Okay, so I'll update my view. I'll then go to my workshop and launch the high resolution image workshop. From here, I can export my image. And now that's saved away, we'll just import it into the Word document. Perfect. We can also create vector-based views inside Composer as well using the technical illustration workshop. We toggle it on and then hit preview and it creates a vector-based image which is made up of lines, arcs and splines rather than a pixel-based image. So we can import this into our Word document or alternatively we could host these images on our website with a bit of additional functionality. SolidWorks Composer is very good for creating animations also. We create a number of images down the left hand side for views in an instruction manual. However, we can reuse those views for an animation. We just simply grab hold of the views and drag them into our timeline. The animation tool will interpolate the differences between the two views over the time. We can start to customize this animation a little bit further by grabbing hold of components and fading them out. And I want to draw your attention to the animation library tool in the workshops. This contains a number of predefined animation sequences that you can quickly import into your model. Here I'm going to choose from the motion group and I'm going to choose the unscrew option. The parameters of the, the unscrew are listed here and are available to be changed. However, all I'm going to do here is just take the two screws and create that step within my timeline. The step is created along the top here and is easily adjustable in terms of its length. If we just click on play here, 
you can see the screws flash and they rotate and translate out like so. Finally, I'm gonna remove the bearings here. So I'll just select the two bearings and from the animation library workshop, I'll use the remove uh, step. Just go ahead and create that. Again, if I need to adjust the timeline at all, I can grab hold of the step and just reduce it. If we play that, you'll see the components flash, translate, and then go transparent. So the animation at this stage is looking very good. Let's say I wanted to collapse or repeat any of those steps in the opposite direction. I can always right click in here and choose the mirror command to mirror the animation or mirror the selected steps. If we switch back to the PowerPoint, in SOLIDWORKS Composer 2018, you'll find that SOLIDWORKS appearances and textures map across much better. If you've applied a, a bill of materials in your SOLIDWORKS assembly file, you can import that directly into Composer. So you get a nice consistency between your documents. And then within motion, you can mirror selected steps or the entire animation should you wish to. Our next video is on SOLIDWORKS Manage. Mm -hmm.